Thank you. So I was saying that um, for the people we are commencing work with, you must have been trading on your own. You must have been trading on your own, please. And for our newbies, especially some of our members in the diaspora who wish to um, set up something for their family back home under the shop ownership program. So keep sending your messages, keep applying. We have started contacting, I think we've contacted about 710 individuals so far. So we'll give you all the criteria. Some people are expecting that we're coming down straight. And um, we made them understand that um, even though you're out of the country and you want to set up something in Nigeria, once you've gotten the person who will be managing the shop for you, you, the person must be part of this Zoom meeting. If they have missed out, let them go back to the past meetings we've held so far since February. And then they catch up with all the information and then they can contact us back. So from the office, they will now, um, we will now give them a short training again and then they can get started. So basically everyone needs to be trading. You need to trade on your own for us to rate your performance and access if truly you are capable of dominating the territory you claim you want to dominate. So, um, all the information, all the areas that they have been sending to us, we're already taking note of them. And then um, now, I'm trying to see some names here. Another thing we need to talk about is if you are in an area, you don't necessarily need to operate as the super dealer in the area where you live. Let me repeat that again. You may be living in an area and be able to operate in another area because um, it's a large world. It's a large world. So don't say, oh, I live in Moe, so I can only operate in Moe. You can operate out of the area where you are. In as much as you have um, maybe a shop or an outlet or something that you want to operate from in another territory. So it doesn't really have to be where you are, where you reside and all those things. So that's another thing that we need to really, really put into consideration. I'm checking, I'm checking to see some information from this place. So the first set of people, I think we will have about um, 10 to 16. 10 to 16 that we're going to work with in the month of May and June. So all those people will be contacted latest by next weekend. We're still trying to work out some modalities. And we also want to encourage everyone, once you are contacted or even before that, begin to list out, you know, we've done a lot of meetings. We've done a lot of meetings, you know, since um, January, February. So we've listed out the ways of dominating our territory. Where are the areas that we want to go to and all those places? So we begin to list all of them out. So that when we are coming from the head office, already have what you're working on or what you're working with on ground. And then we just hit the ball rolling. It's not us that will come and um, know the places that we've listed out that we're going to work with. We don't know those places like you. You are the one 
that is dominating that territory. So you are the one that knows that area very well. So you are the one that can say, oh, in my area, there are social number of schools, there are social number of markets, there are social number of these. Um, on an average, we know we can have like social number of provision stores, there are social number of supermarkets, there are social number of churches, social number of mosques. And by the time you put all of these things together, you see that you already have a very big market. You already have a very big market. So that is one of the homework that everybody needs to do. Apart from coming for the um, trainings here on Zoom, we also need to get practical and put into um, practicality all the things that we have been learning so far. That is how these things can work. We talked about the issue of um, empowerment for youth and women in religious houses. That's another thing. Since we've spoken about it like two weeks ago now, how many people have actually taken their time to say, okay, if Esther says they're empowering social so people in religious houses, how many religious houses do I have in the area where I want to donate? How many religious houses? And please, it's not just about all religious houses, because to be very honest, we are all aware that extra large products are are premium products. Premium product means it's not too cheap. It's not an anyhow kind of product. So they're premium products and we should be careful who we are presenting them to. People who don't value themselves, people who don't value their life, people who don't value the essence of elder living, don't waste your time on them, I'm sorry to say. Because such people, you will just keep on trying to encourage them and convince them and do this and do that. And they will keep bringing you back to, oh, this guy is on the in the market. Why is your own 1,000? So what I'm trying to say in essence is in order not to dissipate our energy, you know, we have to streamline. So when I say we are pointing out the places where we're working with, we have to really streamline, bearing in mind that the products we are offering are premium products. So we have to really um, streamline, if we say religious houses, don't just go and take it to every religious house on your corridor. So religious houses that you know, okay, this place, as I'm looking at this place, these people are capable of, you know, it doesn't mean that we should uh, um, underestimate the others. We may also give them a try, but more emphasis should be on the places you know that yes, these ones, if I speak to them, they will understand the value of what I'm bringing. I hope we get what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me, let me, let me allow one or two people to hear the views. Let me see if you understand. Let me see if we are on the same page about what I just said now. Let me call ahead. Um, okay. Daddy O, our governor for Lekki Axis. I'm sorry to put you on the spot. I'm going to put some people on the spot here now. Um, okay. I'm just going to put you on the spot and ask you to speak. Sorry about that, please. Okay. Checking some places now. Sorry, I've been seeing this name all as well. Can you please unmute yourself? Can you please unmute yourself? I want to ask you something. Can you please unmute yourself?
Is it there? Fama Olufemi Ojo. Okay, please admit yourself, sir. From Malufemi Ojo, I can see your hands raised. Please admit yourself, sir. Please admit yourself and speak. From Malufemi Ojo, are you there? Okay, if he is not there, let me call on. I, like I said, I'm going to put a lot of people on the spot today. Apart from our leaders, I'm going to put a lot of people on the spot today. Um, let me start with Governor Keiji Ajakayema. Governor KJ Ajakai, are you there, please? Now, we're talking about dominating our territories, and we've already listed out all the ways by which we want to. And to be very honest, if we pursue and follow tenaciously all these um, opportunities and all the listed avenues, Honestly, we are just going to, we are going to achieve it. We are going to achieve it. But if we don't follow and we are still believing, oh, let me just see it. Uh, my customers are coming. You will buy products, God forbid, and be sitting down and be waiting for customers and they will not come because you have to create awareness for what you do. Apart from creating awareness, you have to really let them know the quality of what you are presenting to them. Do we understand, please? So Governor KG, um, we're talking about religious houses. Okay, she unmuted now. Sorry, I'm trying to read something from the chat here. Yeah, I gave them permission to unmute. I guess they were not there. Okay, so Governor KG, ma. Yes, ma. Good afternoon, Your Excellency. How are you today, ma? <laughs> I'm very well, ma. Good afternoon. I'm so delicious and beautiful you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank you very much. So I was saying, you know, we've talked about marketplaces. We've talked about um, all prohibition stores. These are the ways of dominating our territories anywhere we are. We've talked about all prohibition stores in our area, all supermarkets in our area. All, all retail outlets in our area. And we, all, we are also talking about religious places now. We talked about all corporate organizations, all hospitals, all banks in our area. We have to spread out to them. We have to find a way of letting them know what we do by going out, by having flyers, and by securing um, permission to hold presentations for them basically for the purpose of the food now, not even to talk about other things that Extra Life does. When they start eating the food, they will understand what Extra Life stands for and they will definitely want to join. But, you know, the, the, the major focus of all this dominating our territory, especially from the super dealers aspect of it, is about the food product. So I want you, Ma, to talk about the religious houses. I'm aware that you are our rescue agent and the governor in charge of Magodo K2 area in Lagos. So, for example, in your area, as we are talking now, K2, Magodo, can you just tell us all the areas under your jurisdiction now? Oh, 
Okay, ma'am. Can I go ahead now? Yes, please. Okay. Good afternoon once again, House. Honestly, um, I don't think there is a better time, you know, for us to launch out in terms of dominating our territory than now. I must say that um, this plan, um, this uh, um, what can I call it now? This um, event that we want to venture into, it's, um, it's long overdue, really. Okay, so why do I say that? I have, you know, more conviction that really, especially the religious houses, that um, it's really, you know, high time we begin to combat these places. So I was at um, a particular one on Sunday um, with one of uh, our leaders as well. And believe you me, the reception of our food, the truth of the matter is people really need to hear what we have to give. They need to hear what we have to offer. We just assume, you know, that people know about, you know, healthy living via 100% natural food. By the time we were done, you know, at um, the presentation on Sunday, I was even thinking that uh, these ones, are they even going to answer us? But they didn't even allow us, you know, to get out. You needed to see the rush for the food. And as MD rightly said, I think the focus really needs to be on the food. Let them understand the benefit of what our food offers. By the time we were done explaining to them, they actually, you know, cutted away all the foods that we went to. It's such that, you know, they have to be booking for more. So we're looking for a way, you know, to see how we can. You know, intensify my efforts within my area. I'm already, you know, reaching out to some churches. We actually have some big, big churches here in Magudo. You know, I'm already, you know, making efforts to reach out. I have, you know, Muslim and team members too. Who I already, you know, uh, uh, I already discussed with for us to also reach out to the most. So if there's any time for us to take our business to these places, it is now. And um, I dare say that, you know, Magodo is very, very ready. You know, and they will be giving you feedback on you know, those who are, who are ready you know, to have us and um, there's no stopping. So I want to just say that we should all, you know, do this. We should all do this. Some of them, it was schools. We had quite a number of school owners, you know, school managers at the gathering, and they are ready. And funny enough, I almost didn't mention the excursion. I was just like, you know what? <laughs> you just don't know who is interested in that. And I had, we had people who, you know, were school um, um, managers and had schools under their jurisdiction that were ready. So please, the religious houses, the excursion beat, let's not leave it out. It's, there's no better time. There's no better time now. Thank you very much. Mark. Oh, I'm muted. Governor Kedi, can you hear me? I can hear you now. I wasn't hearing you before, but I can hear you now, ma'am. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Um... I was muted. Okay. So um, I was saying that you agree very well with me that if we follow through all the channels that we have listed earlier, we will truly be dominating our territories 100%. Yes or no, ma'am? Very well. Yes, ma'am. 100%. Okay. So what I want to hear from you now, K2 Magodo area is under your jurisdiction. Yes. Tell me all the areas. Because, and this should be um, a lesson to every one of us in this meeting. Your area, number one thing I want us to do this afternoon, one thing I want us to achieve today is how well 
do you know your area? How well do you know your area? We've listed out quite a number of places, quite a number of channels by which we can dominate our territories. How well do you, do you know your area? I, I love when um, the person from Bagada was saying Barida Market, New Garage, and that. So, <coughs> Dr. KG, yes, in your pet Agodo place, just give us a number of, um, how do I put all the areas under Attachment your Attachment area. Yes, thank you very much. Thank okay, you. ma. Okay, so for Magodo, our catchment areas are Magodo itself. We have Magodo phase one and two. We have Shangri Okay. We have uh, Otedola. Okay. We have Ikosi. Sorry, Ikosi. Ikosi, we have, okay. Yes, we have Ikosi GRA and we have Ikosi OK. So Ikosi is very, very wide. Okay. We have Ikosi. Okay. We have... Um, okay. We have, we can extend to Bega. Okay. Bega, we can extend to Bega and also Estate, Alakbere Estate. Okay. Then Ketu itself and then my 12. Okay, wow. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Only you. Yes, ma'am. Because that yes, Bega is no go. <laughs> Yes, Vega is. In fact, we just decided because now we are aware that we have quite, we have some leaders and also some members who are becoming active at Mowe. If not, we, have, we would have also, you know, captured Mowe, but we would rather give support, you know, to our other leaders and members who are at Mowe. So, give us and, 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 permit, and permit me to use this language for you, say, ah, ah, WKG, coming down. <laughs> 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 That's what we see. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. We are ready to go all out. Now, all out. Yes, yes, yes. So now when we're talking about the empowerment for religious houses, so in all the spaces that we said out, any religious houses, and you know I've said it that we are not just about anywhere, anyhow. We are premium. Our products are of premium quality. So even though we love everybody to eat our food, but at the same time, we're very careful to, uh, to know and to meet people who place, who have placed the value on themselves, their health. We will try to encourage the ones that are not doing so to, to, to have a change of mind, but we're going to start from the people who already understand what we are coming to tell them. So, in your own, from your own point of view now, under all these areas that you just listed, Kosike to Magodo, like how many religious houses, you know, that falls under my definition of premium, do you think you have in your area right now? Hello, Ma, can you hear me? Yes, like Hello, how many religious houses okay, do you Okay, okay. Your area. Okay, let me not just try to ex exaggerate. If I limit them to religious houses, I'm, for all of these areas, I wouldn't get anything less than 50. And I mean, when we talk about, you know, premium. Premium, okay. Yes. Okay, thank yes. you very much. And like how okay, many public schools and private schools do you think you have in your area? Sorry, I didn't get that. I think the network. Is how many complete. private schools? Like, how many private schools do you think? Private schools. Yeah. Private schools. Wow. Yeah. Private schools. No, private. Okay, let me also. Because you know, there are private schools, there are private schools. Let me also, honestly, private schools might be up to 100 for all of those areas, but let me, you know, premium. Private schools can also be categorized. So, so let me also leave the private schools at 50. 50. Thank you. <clears throat> and the public schools? Public, public schools. Government. I'm yeah. not uh, very, very conversant with the public schools, but I think about 10 or 20. Let's say 10. 
And then like how many banks? <laughs> like how many banks? I'm, how people I'm are losing you again, ma'am. Like how many banks do you have? Oh. Like how many banks? Hello. So please, everybody should just be taking note of it like that. So you 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 want to dominate your territory, then that means you are you are you are hitting it from every corner. You don't say, oh, I'm the um, rescue agent, I'm the super dealer, I'm the extra large super dealer in this place, and you just have your shop and you are just sitting down in your shop, you're waiting for customers to come. No, you have to spread out. You have to dominate, you have to allow everybody, you have to spread the news to everyone and everyone within your area, within your territory, to know what you're offering. And that's why we are listing them out like this. So we have all the religious houses. In our own case, she said about 50. We have public schools about 10. We have private schools about 50. And we have, we have tried to streamline. So we're not just taking any, uh, if we say just schools, she could have up to 200. But she, she knows the area very well. So she knows that there are some areas that, yeah, these are the people that can really appreciate what, we're, what I'm trying to offer. So that's what we're trying to do now. Governor KJ, are you back? Can you hear me now, Governor KG? I think, I think she's hello, ma. Okay. I think yeah. it's my network. Yeah. I'm so being we're, we're, in and out. That's yeah, I think it's your network. I can't even hardly hear you. Hmm. Oh, like okay. Move around and so religious homes, public schools, private schools, like how many banks? Like how many banks do you think you have? Banks. Banks in my yeah. area should be. Let me just be safe. So let me just say twenty. Okay, twenty banks, and I'm sure in all these banks we have minimum of um, ten personnel. Minimum, minimum. Yeah. Am I correct? Not more. Okay, you are very correct. Yeah. Then, uh, yeah. So, like, how many hospitals do you think you have around the area? Hospitals. Hospitals. Ah, the hospitals are many. <laughs> there are many. Please, <laughs> everybody, expect us to are many. take a pen and a paper, or maybe on our phone, and start writing all these things down. Hospitals. The thing is, you know. Okay. Hospitals, do we you would you would you have up to 20? Definitely. Definitely, ma'am. Okay. okay. Um supermarket. Real big supermarket. Like how many supermarket? Supermarket. Coming to my head now, I know five, but I know they are more than that. Okay, so, so let's, let's even leave it at five. Let's even leave it at five. Mm -hmm. Okay, so corporate organizations like some um, companies, offices, you know, because now we just said banks. There are so many other corporate institutions around that area. Like, how many of them do you think you have? Yeah. Okay, so CMG Road itself is um, it's a commercial area. I'm sure we can have less than 20 organizations on that road. That's a major in a commercial area because you know the other places yeah. are more residential. So you have just you know, like a retail store to do some for, yeah. for organizations, name organizations, say like 20 million yeah. CMG Road and one or two other places. Yeah. Okay, so like how many would you now say you have? 
Let me just keep it at that 20. 20, okay. Then hmm, this one is really big. Provision and uh, retail shops, like shops that are selling everyday ah. needs, basic amenities. All these women that open shop for provisions for food sales and all that. Like, how many do you think you have? Who goes by many? We have many. I'm sorry, there are that. many. I won't say. I'll be practically every house. You have a store there. So, minimum of two. <laughs> Minimum of two hundred. <laughs> yeah. By the time we even yeah. get to case, you know there's a market even at case. So honestly, you know, no, wait. Well, I'm that. still coming to market. I'm still coming to market to major market. We've not even got into that place. Okay. Then we have local government office. Is there anything like that? Maybe any state office or local government office in your area? Um, Is that the CMD one? That's CMD. For my area, like yeah, for my area is one, and I know um, beggar. My, one. My twelve, they also have their own local I government. Think we have so for one. here that covers Magogo, yeah. Shangisha, or Pedola is one. But uh, for um, my twelve, I know okay. they will have this too. Uh, beggar will have a home. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then for the major market now, like a major market in your area, market, everyday market, people come there to buy the product, to buy their food, to buy this, to buy that. It could not be even a food market. It could be another, it could be a clothing market, it could be uh, whatever, but it's a market, it's a, it's, a, it's a public market. Like how many do you have in your area? Are you still with me? Hey, I'm back again, my sir. I, I can't go now again. So like, so how many do you have in your area? Major market. Two major market. Yeah, you mentioned my two the other no, time. No, we beg our three. Yes, my two. 12. K2, Mega, those are three major markets then. Three major in the market. areas you have a... Yeah. Meanwhile, in those three major markets alone, you can get another like 100 to 200 retail, um, retail people, yeah. you know. So this is a high opener. Thank you so much, Dr. Kaye. It tells me you really, really know yes, your area. <laughs> you really, really know your area. Thank you. So this is a, um, a lowdown, a summary of what you've given us from Kitchen and Google area. We have religious classes that can access with us about 50. We have schools about 10. We have public schools about 10. We have private schools about 50. We have about 20 banks. We have about 20 hospitals. We have about five supermarkets. We have about uh, 20 corporate organizations. We have about um, 200 provision and retail shops. We have um, one local government office and we have three major markets. Honestly, if you're doing 10 million sales in this place per month, it's not even enough. Because in your religious houses alone, you can set a target that, okay, in, all, in each of these religious houses, every week, I should not be selling. If, if, if you have, let me tell you, in one religious house, if you just target only 10 families from one religious house, just 10 families, which is too small, because you have given us your mega religious houses. You didn't give us the mushroom ones. You have stated the mega ones. So even if you have just 10 families who are patronizing your product in each of these religious houses, and each of those 10 families they cannot buy anything less than 10 to 15,000 naira per month. Because by the time they buy their oil, they buy their wonder meal, they buy their plantain flour, they buy 
you know, before you open your eyes and close it, the 15K is even too small. Is even too small to be very honest. So let's put it at say 20,000 naira. And you have 10 families from each religious house. And each family buys 20,000 naira. You have 10 of them. 20,000 times 10 families will give you how much? 200,000. Please, everybody follow me. Take your pen and start writing all these things down. 20 families. Uh, sorry, 20,000 naira per family by 10, 10 uh, of such families in one religious house. Meaning that you will be making minimum 200,000 naira sales from that religious house, which is really too small. And don't forget that you are not the one to go and sell there. You are to... Um, Collaborate with Extra Lad as we have mentioned about um, empowering youth and women in religious houses. So you are only to walk up to the authority of that religious house with your letter from Extra Lad Farms stating categorically that you are an ambassador or a governor or a brand ambassador of Extra Lad for that area showing them the letter we are, we are empowering people and we just need to give us somebody we can empower from your church. Give us somebody we can empower from your mosque. So what, you are, what are we doing now? You are now collaborating with the church to empower somebody through extra large products. So now, the, whoever you are empowering in that place is it, just for you to train the person on that one day. The training should be okay. And you can even send them over to us every month now from May by the special grace of God. All the people that you're empowering in your area or the people you are employing to work under you, you will be bringing them at least once in the month, either on Zoom or physically, depending on the area where we are holding the seminars or trainings that is closest to you. So we can train them and we can continue to, you know, train them, enlighten them on how to go about all these things. So that means you're making minimum 200,000 Naira sales from one religious house. It could be a mosque, it could be a church. Now, but you have 50 of such religious houses. 20,000 Naira times 50 will give you how much? 1 million Naira from your religious house. And don't forget that these things, they always have a replica effect. So by the time these 10 families start eating this product from each of those places that you have mentioned, this one, before you know it, will tell another person, oh, this other, oh, my friend liked it in my place of work. Oh, my uncle likes it, he's even outside Lagos, or he's even outside wherever you have presented the product to them. Oh, so my pastor likes it. Oh, my neighbor likes it. Oh, my in-law likes it. From your person, one person, out of 10, you can generate another five to 10 links, meaning that you're still going to have a multiplier effect of this year, 20, 10, 10 families per religious house by 50 religious houses, which gives you 500 families under the religious house program. And, and that, those 500 families can end up giving you another minimum 2,000 families. Let's imagine that each of the families would tell minimum four people about the product. Oh, ah, there's something I ate. So I got it from my friend and I like it. And they also begin to call me. So as we are talking about these things, let's also take into um, serious consideration the fact that each of these people you are getting now, they are capable of giving you more and more and more customers. So handle them well, treat them well with love and respect and ensure that you always meet up their demands. Now, 500 we end up giving. I'm not even going into what the other, these ones will give you. I'm talking about only these ones. So now we have established that we can get 500 families from the 50 religious houses if we have just 10 patronages that's from 10 families in each of them. Bye-bye to religious houses. 500 we already have them. Somebody should write them down. Now, public schools, 
In those public schools, you know, public schools generally, we always have a large number of people. We have from the, if it's the secondary school, you have your principal, you have the vice principal, you have the um, HOD, blah, 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 you know, everybody working there, non-academic staff, you know. Let's say on an average in these public schools, you have maybe 10 personnel, okay? And let's imagine that only five wants to do business with you. I like to be realistic. So let's say only 10, only five out of 10 wants to do business with you, okay? And each of them now, maybe because they are public workers or something, maybe they don't want to spend so much on food or, or on premium food, okay? So let's bring them to 10,000 naira that they are buying every month. And you all know, every excellent member knows that 10,000 naira food item is not anything to write home about. It's not, it's something they can finish within, within a week. Okay, so we have 10,000 naira from each person in that public school, and we have five of them. That is 50,000 naira, <coughs> excuse me, sales from the religious house. I'm sorry, from the public house, and we have five families. Then we go to the private schools now. We have listed out 50. Let me tell you, this uh, private school is into two different um, um, phases. The first phase is the school itself. That's the personnel of the school. The school proprietor, the proprietress, the headmistress or headmaster, the teachers, the non-academic staff, everybody that is working in that school. We are planning on how to get them. So that's part one. Then part two is that these private schools, there are parents who are bringing their children to these schools, yes or no. So it's another um, ball game, and it's another opening, it's another channel. So that means the personnel of the private school. I didn't say that about public school because most children in public schools, especially in Nigeria, do not have their parents bring bringing them to school. So they always find their way to go to school by themselves. But I can categorically tell you that at least 50% of children in private schools are always brought in by their parents or their guardian or somebody. That's if they're not on the school public transportation system. So that's why I said 50% um, for private schools. So let's imagine that in the private school, you were only able to get five personnel out of maybe a workforce of about 15 or 20. Let's imagine that you only got five personnel, but from the parents, and we're still going to talk about how you can target the parents of this, of, of the children in the private schools. So, but from the parents, now let's imagine that a school that has say 200 children population, just imagine 200 children, mm -hmm. and you just want to get 10% of the parents of that population. That means you want to get only 20 parents, which is a, a very low mark for you to score as somebody who is determined to really dominate their territory. And there are two easy ways of achieving that. We have said that before in previous seminars. You can organize your own sales team, give them a target, give them these schools. Imagine in your own school and you have 50. So that means even if you have um, um, two sales reps, for example, and they are going out every day, there are five days in a week. So there are 20 days, 20 working days in a month that these people will go to school. So 20 working days in a month and you have two meaning that your two sales representatives will have at least 10, 10 schools to attend to in a whole month. So if they now take the 10 and visit five every week and every other week, so it means if they visit five this week, they don't visit them next week, they visit them again the upper week. So your sales rep will honestly be busy and they only target the early morning time when they are bringing 
their children and in the afternoons when they are taking back the children home. So your sales reps are there available to speak with them. Another way is go into the school officially, present a letter. They hold their parent teachers association meeting. They have days for inter-house sport. They have days for, so um, um, what do they call this thing? Um, visiting day. Um, there's this one again, open day, you know, all those things. Approach the school, let them know what you want to do with them. You can even opt to have like, um, um, like a food center sampling event, you know, just something small. How much will it cost you to buy two, three packs of beans flour to promote your sales, you know, and you just prepare it there and as people are coming in, they're having a bite, they're having a taste right within the Parent Teachers Association meeting or their entire spot or something like that. You understand? So with that, there is no how. We all know everybody who is actively involved in marketing of sales pro of, of food products you understand what i'm saying better there is no how you go out for such events and you will not have in the whole school up to 20 parents who will be patronizing you now let's imagine remember that these are private schools so it means that the people are a bit you know well to do so that means if you have 20 parents from each of these private schools and you have listed 50 schools here, meaning 20 from each private school by 50 will give you 1,000 families. Plus five personnel from each private school in 50 schools will give you how many? 250 personnel, making a total of 1,250 families that you have gotten from the private schools in your area. And let's imagine that the parents, the 1,000 parents, the 1,000 families, they are buying product of 20,000 Naira, for example. The 1,000 families, that's 2 million Naira. The 1,000 families are buying products of 20,000, 20,000 Naira in each of those private schools. In fact, that is even products of about 20 million Naira that you are selling in those private schools alone. So it's, some, it's even enough for you to say, let me employ four or five people. And all we want to do is to just focus on this business. And that's one out of about 10 sales channels that you have in your area. From the religious houses, you, you know what you got. 500 um, excuse me, 500 um, families that we got in that place, and we said they are buying products of 20,000 naira per month, and that one gave us 10 million naira. Now you have 1,000 families from 50 private schools taking just 20 parents per school. And you all agree with me that it is very, very achievable. You see that one also. Then you have the personnel from the school. Let's say those ones are buying just 10,000 10, Naira. And you have those 10,000 Naira by five each from each school in 50 schools, making 250 personnel. That will give you another Um, 2.5. I hope you are following me, please. Before I continue, let, let me hear whether you are, everybody is getting what I'm Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, we are ma following. We are, we are can we ask for the mute? We are following you, ma'am. We, yeah, we, we, we are following you. We are with you, ma'am. Perhaps at the end of the, the presentation, I would like to ask questions. No problem, there will be a question time. Yes. Now, for people who have really been trading, what I'm saying, is it realistic? Is it achievable? Yes, ma, they are really achievable. Yes, ma, they are achievable. They are achievable, ma. 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 
very much very much thank you very much even more than but the more problem than. is if we don't sit down you see somebody could be sitting on gold mm. somebody could be sitting on gold but because mm -hmm. you don't want mm -hmm. to, to quantify it to say okay I, where am i what am i supposed mm -hmm. to do with this thing i'm sitting on you know, you've just taken it for granted, or maybe because you, your mind did not even go there. Your mind didn't go there, so you're not really paying so much attention to it. And I'm very sure many of us are you're like, yay. So this is what we have. Hello. Is somebody say no? So let me just continue. Let me just continue. You can see so far. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten channels. We have done only four channels, and we are already at a sales volume of about um, thirty million. Thirty million. You know, they said aim for the aim for the sky. I be mean, how did they say that thing? So that even if you don't hit the sky, at least you will hit the clouds. How do they say that? Who knows that? Um, um, who knows that? Are they that saying very well? So you, you, if you are aiming for hundred and you don't hit hundred, at least you will eat seventy. At worst, you eat half. So if you are targeting ten channels, and out of the ten channels, you have already hit thirty million on four channels. What are we talking about? Even if you have employed up to 10 personnel to work with you as your sales representatives, as your marketing officers, as this and that, you will surely have enough to pay them and also have some good profits for yourself. So when we're talking about dominating territory, dominating territory, dominating territories, it's not just by saying it for, for fun. If you work at it, you will definitely achieve it. Now let's move forward to banks. All the banks, let, let me just add banks and corporate organizations. In our area, she gave us 20, 20 corporate organizations. So that's a total of 40. So let's say in each of these um, 40 corporate organizations, let's say we have another 10 personnel in each. And let's still cut it to half that, okay, only five out of 10 personnels are going to patronize what you have come to offer them. By the time you have five personnels representing five families in each of these corporate organizations, by 40 that you have in your area, you have another 200 families to attend to. Can you see that you are a conglomerate on your own? Just by realizing what you carry and how you can be able to help others, you know, to meet their needs, to get out of their health challenges, to achieve their, their dream of eating healthy and living healthy. People on Facebook, God bless you. Thank you all for joining us. We, we really do appreciate you. We're live on Zoom. This one is just um, a freebie for you. Okay, so for the corporate places, now the banks and all the corporate organizations in that area, we add 40. And then we sell five personnel or five um, families from each. Then we have a total of 200 families. Now, these 200 families, now let's even say it's 10,000. And we all know. When we are saying 10,000 products, 10,000 products is just like five, five products. So by the time you have your extra large meal, by the time you have your beans flour, by the time you have your, your soya oil or granite oil, you have your palm oil. You have your father rice, for example, or plantain flour. Can you see? 10K is already gone. You've not added honey beans. You've not added fine gary. You've not told them about radish. You've not told them about, uh, about crash drink. You've not told them about chicken. You've not told, uh oh, extra large. Extra large. Okay? So 10,000. To 200 families again. Somebody sending me a message. 10,000 to 200 families again. You have another 2 million naira here. 
And you know that for these 40, um, um, 40 places that you want to attend to, you can put one personnel in charge of all, all of them. So that means that personnel will now say, okay, if I have 40 places to visit and I have 20 working days, that's Monday to Friday, that means I should be able to visit two per day. That's all. So you can say, okay, you, my staff, I only employ you for um, all the banks in my area and all the corporate offices in my area. That's your target. And he, he visits two of these places per day so that in 20 working days, he would have already visited 40. Let me tell you another secret. By the time he visits these places, first month, second month, by the third month, he will not have any place to visit again because most of them would have gotten used to how they can place their orders by themselves without that person coming back all the time. Okay. Most of them by that time would have even registered to become members of each other. Placing order and just, you know, so all you now need to be doing is to just see how you can send their orders to them, meet up, you know, do deliveries and all that. So it will always be marketing, marketing, marketing all the time. It will now be just following up and you even striving to meet up with their demands. So we will get with that. You have 500 before, you have 50 here, you have 1,250 next, you have now 200 again. You can imagine. Then we talk about supermarkets. Supermarkets in our area, she has listed five. We have some supermarkets today that at actual at farm, averagely in a week, they buy products of about 1 million naira. Some that are, that are not doing so well, they buy like 500,000 naira. So let's even imagine that maybe because you are just starting, you are supplying them products of 200,000, for example, 200,000 every month. And you can even go and tell them that after supplying them, oh, sorry, I like to be a merchandiser. And you can, one of your staff that you have employed, you can let the supermarket know that I have a merchandiser that I want to bring to this supermarket. They allow it, supermarkets always allow it. You see when you go to some supermarkets, you see some people wearing t-shirts of certain brands. And when you come into the supermarket, they are the one that say, oh, you're welcome, man. you're welcome. Have you tried this product? Have you tried this product? And they're trying to explain the product to you because they know that there are so many products in, on the shelves in the supermarket and you may not easily notice them. So what the merchandisers are there to do at the supermarkets is to, you know, um, 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 drive you, how do I say that? You know, to create awareness for their products and take you there to their stand so that you can buy it. And, you know, once you buy the product and the product is good, next time you already know how to get it by yourself. You will not need the, the, the efforts of the merchandiser anymore. So if, let's say you have five supermarkets and you are, you are giving them maybe 200,000 product, which is very, very small, which is very, very small, 200,000 products and you have five of them, that's another 1 million naira sales. Then we now go to provision and retail shops. Oh my God, oh my God. Provision and retail source in Nigeria, you know, is one business that everybody is doing in Nigeria. Once a woman doesn't have, uh, uh, maybe she's not working in an office or something, even those that are working in offices, they still open shops in their area. They are selling one thing or the other. And you have 200 retail shops here yeah, in your area. Do you know what that means? Just imagine that each of them is buying one carton per week. Just imagine. That means four cartons per month. And that's average of about 50,000 sales per month. And you have 200 of them. Hey. Is, somebody, is somebody catching the excitement? Is somebody seeing the possibility of what I'm, what I'm saying this afternoon? You have them buying at least four cartons in a month. That's an average of one carton per, per, per week because they just started. And then you have 200 of such. Excuse me. And you have 200 of such.
So on provision and retail shops, we have another 10 million naira. And we are going to be doing more training on how to attract or market all these retail stores. One carton, honestly, is not so much for them. And don't forget that this one carton you say you want to sell to this person to sell for a whole week is something that one of the person's customer can buy at a time. Don't forget. And then we will also teach you how you reduce something with all these provision and retail stores so that your own one carton that you are giving them, you can do it not like the way extra large is doing because of course you are selling at a little higher price than what extra large is selling to them. So your own one carton, you can mix some things of the uh, two wonder mill, two of other two, these two these for them to have a variety of products because they are just starting. And before you know it, only one customer or two customers will take all the old one carton that you intended they will sell for a whole week. And by the following day, they're already calling you for another one. And we all know by the grace of God, once somebody has a taste of extra life products, you are always asking for more because you will know the difference between these products and all the other products that you have been eating before. So we have another 10 million things from that. They will now go to local government offices. Then we talk about the major market. Uh, so you are going to make up your mind every month I must have a sales event in a major market in my area. So for somebody like the governor who spoke now, that has three major markets in her area, it means that she can have one major sales event in a weekend, and we have four weekends in a month. So let's say for the three major markets you have in your area, you are having one sales event in a weekend. So for three major markets, you have three sales events. And then the fourth one, you can leave that one for extra large seminars and all those things and that. It may not even be a weekend. There are some markets that they sell more during the week than normal days. Now, you are going to make sales at the sales event instantly. You are also going to meet with people in those sales events that they will tell you, oh, let me just buy one and go and test. You take their numbers, you follow up on them. Before you know it, you are grooming another set of families and customers. So imagine that in your efforts to this major market, minus your instant sales that you're going to generate in those markets, minus the provision and retail shops you will still be selling to as an wholesaler in those major markets. Then the families that you're going to meet in this major market, let's even say to the worst, you met 100, which is not possible. I, I follow our marketing team. I go with them because I don't want to be an MD that is in the office and is just speaking grammar. No, I'm on the streets. Many of you see me sometimes and I know what we do and I know the results that comes out from them. So there is no way we have sales events in major markets and have nothing less than 200 families who will either buy instantly or give you their contact. Oh, sorry, I didn't come with so much money or what I came to buy in the market is so, 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 so. And you, you follow up from there, you know, let's streamline those ones again to another, let's even say 100, but I know you can't have less than 200 if you are serious with it. Let's say 100. And let's imagine that they are still buying at the lowest, they are buying like 10,000 products per month. 10,000 products on 100,000 customers. <coughs> Thank you very much. Minus your instant sales events and minus the other um, provision and retail shops that you are going to, you, you know, you are going to get right there on the day of your sales events. There is no how you will have less than three to five million naira total that you will be generating from your sales and outreach to major markets. Now, if you go out to all the things that we have been talking about since morning, we will see that at the end of the day, you already have, this is 500, 1,000, 1,200. You already have less, nothing less than 3,000 families that you are attending to as a super dealer. 3,000 families. 
and you already have nothing less than 40 million naira sales that you are expecting. Please let me hear what you are saying here before I even go ahead. Give me a round of applause if you think I deserve it. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm very new. I'm very new. Good afternoon. Oh, ah, uh, uh, what's his name? Oh, my join us. Well, well done, mommy. Well done, mommy. Is this real? Is this real? Is it real? Yeah, very yeah, real. Very 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 what is achievable? achievable. achievable. So let's imagine that you have made forty million sales and you are making ten percent profit on your sales. That means you are making 44 million naira. 4 million naira. Out of your 4 million naira, you can pay your staff, you can pay your shop rent. You yourself as the MD of that, of that sales outlet, you can take of yourself very well. Meanwhile, you don't need 40 million naira at once to go and buy product from Extra Lat to start up this venture. No. You don't need it. Most of these things, especially for the sales event, and for those who will join the Super Deluxe Club, I've mentioned that before. When you join the Super Deluxe Club with your 50,000 or 100,000 naira, that means anytime you have a sales event, you can just come on it. Extra large, please, yo, I have the sales event somewhere. I don't have enough money to buy product. Extra large can bring products for you to that place. You sell, you remove your own money, you pay extra large. Yeah. You don't need 40 million naira to buy the product before you can achieve your 40 million naira sales. The ones you are doing with as an empowerment to the religious houses, you don't need all the money to buy before you can, you, you can get the product. Once you are also a member of the, uh, of the Super Deluxe Club, there is a way where how we can you know, work together to make sure that these things are achievable. So don't limit yourself. You can see all these things that we have been saying since morning. That's why I didn't, I didn't start with mentioning how much you need as a capital. No, 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 we are not even talking about that yet. Because that is the least of your problem. If you have gone out and you truly have orders that you want to meet, this money is not going to be a problem. Please, that's one thing that I want all of us to go with today. When you are making your plans and you are dreaming and you're doing everything, don't always think about how do I get the money first. No, make your plans first. Yes, you need money, but let it not be the stumbling block from the beginning. Those that say, hey, let me now not get 40 money to, to buy a product. Too. And we all even know that even if you have the 40 million today and you bring it to extra life, without telling us a list like this practical list that we have. Um, listed out today. If you can't show us this one, we are not even going to sell the products to you. We want to be sure that these products you have money to buy, you also have the ability to sell the product. Now, another question, another limitation that you may face. We've seen that all these places, you can never achieve all these things by yourself on your own. You need a sales team. You need people with, you can work with. You can start with your own family. You alone can start. I've told you my story here many times. You alone can start. You can co-opt your children into it at their holiday period or their, you know, all those things. But most importantly, you need to employ people. You need to employ people. And you don't need any graduate to do this thing. This is not a job for uh, BSc, MSc. You don't need all that. Any young person that is available around, or you can even use as an empowerment to the people around you. You know one widow somewhere, you know one housewife that is always sitting at home asking for money from others. Come, let me show you what you can do. Bring them in, take your time, maybe one or two days, train them, 
about the food, the qualities of the food product, the benefits for the people who are going to eat it, and business starts from there. There is nobody sitting at home that you record it and say, come, let me show you how to make money. I'll be paying you 50,000 every month, for example. And the person will say no. So that's another limiting challenge that I've given you the solution. Somebody else is saying, hey, I would have loved to do all these things, so, but I don't have a shop. You also don't need a, a shop before you can start all those things. Can you see that in all this, I didn't mention the people that will come to your shop to buy? No, we didn't even factor that one in at all. Meaning that you can start this business from your sitting room, from your kitchen, get your products, put them in your kitchen, go out, market in the way that we have listed out. Anybody buying from you is not going to ask you this. You are coming back to meet them. Before you know it, by your first, second, third month, you would have raised enough money to be able to get any shop where you want. Your house can be your shop. Your car can be your shop. Or you know somebody who is a close friend or a close family member that has a shop. Ah, all right, please, can I just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a distributor of a product, but you know, I don't have enough money to to get my own shop now. Can I, can you just give me, you know, a small space, maybe a shelf site in this year's shop? And you just arrange a few products. I know um, a salonist, an hairdresser, and I have even been saying, uh, people who are doing, uh, who wants to be extra large super dealers, they cannot be hairdressers because you are thinking, oh, you can't be putting food where they are making air and all that. Do you know what this person did? She created a, a, a space out of a shop, out of a salon. And that space is, is not where they are making the air, it's where she's selling the air products and all that. And she just made a very small shelf, very small shelf. The whole size of this shelf is not up to a human being's shoulder. It's a very small shelf. It has just three or four layers because she sent us all the things. And this woman started, you know, a business about two months ago now. This is April. Yeah, she started, I think, towards the middle of February or so. She started buying products. The first purchase she made was about 180 something thousand. She bought different, different products and added them. And do you know that people were coming to her shop? Some people were seeing the product for the first time. And some people were like, oh, extra large products. I've been looking for where I'll be buying this thing. And within the space of two months now, the sales of that person has tripled. In fact, the challenge the person is having now that she wants to make a bigger shelf and she wants to ensure that, because sometimes now people order some things and she doesn't have it because she's waiting, okay, let me sell much more and, and go and order. So, but now she has learned that even if I have money for two cartons, let me just replace. I don't want anybody to come back and be asking me this and that. Do you know how many of such salonists are in your area that you can also motivate and empower? And tell them, as you are doing this, your salon business, we are still doing, you can still, still be doing your food business. People are coming to your salon to make it. You have a, 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 a fashion designer, a tailor, or as customers are coming to your shop, you can also be telling them about this thing. You are pharmacist, you, know, you can say, we didn't mention all these ones. So nothing is limiting us. Nothing is limiting you. As long as you have the desire to start up something and be tenacious about it, the sky will be your starting point. Let me end here. Let us take comments from the house so that we can begin to wrap up and close. Um, we we'll ask everybody to unmute first and let me appreciate you, man. Thank 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 you, and then we will call you. For people on, on Facebook, you just type in your question and then we will read it. Everybody who needs to raise your hand. Just raise your
I would take one or two comments before we start asking the question. Um, before we start answering all the questions, I will call somebody from Nigeria, and then I'll call another person from outside Nigeria about all these things that we have listed out. I want to hear your comments. Let me call. Okay, two people, we have two hands raised so far. If you know you have a question, please um, raise your hand now so that we can know how to attend to you. Let me ask Ambassador Adeke Adorebu. Please unmute yourself, Ma, and we want to hear your comments about the presentation. Yeah, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, MB. Good afternoon. Yeah, thank you very much for this um, wonderful lecture. And I thank God I didn't miss it at all. If I should miss this, oh my God. I don't know what I'll say. Thank God I didn't miss it. And I believe with all we have had today, is going to work miraculously for us. You know, like you have said that you all these things you have tried before you introduce it to us. And I'm just, I'm visualizing and saying it that, oh, this thing can, oh God, it can really work. I'm happy I, I, I'm here this afternoon and I uh, equip myself on uh, what to do next. Thank you very much, Ma. Thank you so much, Ma. God bless you. You know, all the things we talk about. We didn't even talk about the other stream of earning that you will get from these 3,000 families. Many of them will end up becoming members of extra large firms. Of course, they'll be registering on that. You, you know what that means. Many of them will love to now ask you about other things that we do at extra that you want to do extra token, they want to do this, they want to do that. And don't forget that this school that you have gone to meet, you will still introduce excursion programs to them. Just imagine, just imagine. Don't forget our holiday club is launching on the 1st of May. You are still going to talk about that today. You are still going to introduce Agritech City today. Imagine another stream of income again, apart from the food sales that you will still be generating from these 3,000 families. So please, as we have heard all this, this is very important what you do with these contacts when you eventually get them. Make sure you don't lose them. Make sure you try your best to satisfy them and keep them so that you will not only be earning in one way on them, you will not be earning in so many ways. Let me call, okay. Um, let me see another person. I want a mail this time around. Mama Fasos. Ambassador Fasos, are you there, sir? It's a lot. 100%. Yes, ma. I really want to appreciate you, ma, for the excellent presentation of today's uh, uh, Zoom meeting. Uh, in fact, everything you have said, though I was saying that I've just due to some call that came in that is always cutting me off. But the one uh, thing that I didn't know before, I was maybe thinking, how can I do it? How can I do it? Do it now. I'll be able to know that all these things to make sense. Don't need to. I don't need huge amount of money. And there are strategies, strategies that we can use in order to make uh, ourselves familiar with our people, in order to dominate our territory. With everything that we have found today, if I believe that if every one of us that are under this presentation are able to key to it and be serious, be committed to it. Uh, we are a bit, we, we have a long way to go. Uh, there's going to be testimony. I believe testimony is still going to follow. Yes, testimony is going to follow. 
Esalaj is doing wonder. Yes. Thank you, ma. I really appreciate you, ma. Thank Keep you on doing the good work. Thank you. Yes, God bless you. Thank you very much. Okay. So now we we'll go to questions so we can round up. We have Pastor Oyema Kinde Akinolu. Please unmute yourself, sir. Please unmute yourself. Good, up, good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. Yes, sir. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, your presentation this uh, afternoon is a uh, is a serious one and high opener to me. Even the presentation is tempting me to attend my resignation and uh, start working with uh, with what you have presented. Uh, really, <laughs> But I, I, I join Extra Large uh, in December through Pastor Ajay when he came for a presentation in our church. So, and since then, I've been part of the family. But I want to, my comment now is that with your analysis on this marketing strategy, it is so wonderful. Okay. But I want, I want to have. Uh, I will also prepare the production strategy to meet the market demand at the time we launch out the, because I know there are going to be a serious demand for the product. I will Thank you very much. Uh, because that's, that, that one is very, very key so that we will not launch into the market with the market strategy that we are put in place now and the people now begin to demand for the product and we now begin to, uh, to say no. I think there's a serious need to work on the production strategy for us to meet the demand that will come in through the marketing strategy you have put in place. Thank you so much, sir. That's a very smart question that I've been expecting somebody to ask. God bless you, sir. We are yes. always ready. Okay. We are okay. always ready. Okay. Remember when we were just about 1,000 members? Today, the new over 1,000 at Extra Life. I remember when we were less than 1,000, the people that joined me were like, hey, I'm the CEO. I'm not sure when people start coming now, we yeah. have products to give them. When they start collecting their induction, imagine when 5,000 people need to collect induction pack. Imagine when, you know, and they were saying it, and we were just smiling. So, you know what we are what we do is we are always preparing ahead we are always working ahead ahead and yeah. another thing we are going to do is that right now there are some corporate institutions that we are still giving our products to okay. but that's not our major um dream yes. our major dream is not for them to only be using the products as materials for other products. Our major dream is for people to be consuming the products and we see their health having to turn around. You understand? So yeah. if the world come to the world, for those ones that have not entered long years of contracts, we can still cut it down so that our people can continue to have what they need. But I can assure you, in the past two years now, We've gone beyond only what we are producing on our farms at Extra Large Farm. And I've been saying that in quite some seminars now. We have been going out, we have been training other farmers, other farming um, um, corporations and individuals have been approaching us. You know, some of them, you know, um, gone into the culture business and it wasn't really what they expected that they got out of it. So you have been able to enlighten them, train them, and reorientate them. If you want us to help, I've told you a story before of one of our neighbors towards the Roko at our Okyoto farm, the where we are farming cassava. And we discovered that this man retired you know, as a senior um, um, police commissioner, and he planted cassava about 25 acres. You know, it was so well. 
But we were seeing everything as he was doing. Of course, he never asked for any help. So we don't offer help to who, who doesn't ask. So when he arrested the cassava, he had problems selling. And you know, he was so discouraged. And then one day, somebody told him, why don't you go to me? They are your neighbor. You are just, in fact, we share boundaries. Come and meet them, they will help you. And when we eventually came for help, that was only not to. He told us that being a problem, all this for 25 acres of cassava is not enough for us to produce in one week when we turn it into that. It's not a big deal for us at all. But the big deal now is that you know, and we, your neighbors, we also know that you planted all the cassava using a lot of chemical fertilizers. Yes. So people like that. They have been with us now for years, and we have been, you know, working together. Iron tablets, iron, they say, yeah. if you want us to help, you don't, you don't do that. So, not only what we are producing from our own farm, we have that network of farmers that we have trained over the period of time about organic farming. So, yeah. production is not going to be problem. Okay, that, that, that's God good. Yes, oh, yeah, 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 ma'am. That's from your Thank presentation. You. Hello, ma. Hello. Oh. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Aha, from your presentation, because the analysis you have just done now, we yes. are doing market segment. Solo work uh, only on Magudu. So, yes. and uh, because uh, I, by the grace of God, I work with market research company, we conduct research for companies. So and when we are talking about market, if you want to cover Nigeria, uh, looking at uh, market segmentation is very key. Then doing a sensor, as you have, with the analysis you have done now, you have done a sensor, just sensor of a uh, Bodo uh, uh, K2 area. So yeah. by the time we need to cover to move to other places, to other town, to other states, covering the whole whole Nigeria, the whole Nigeria. I think there's a, mm -hmm. a need to engage, uh, 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 to involve re, uh, research agents to help us do the market segmentation. So that's just yeah. uh, a suggestion. Thank you very much, sir. And you know, if you say you want to wait on market research and all that, we do that as an organization. But we are talking about you as a dealer, and you are at the grassroots of yourself. Why would you employ somebody to come and do what you can do by yourself? You live there. You know the number of religious houses in your area. You know the number of hospitals in your area. You know the number of markets in your area. You know, you know the number of schools in your area. You live there. It's your territory. Yes. So you honestly know, so it is somebody maybe I want to do a market research for the whole of Nigeria and I'm only in Lagos. So I may not know what, what happens in Abuja, I may not know what is in Portakot, I may not know what is in Amanda because I'm not there. So I will need to now employ somebody to do that for me in those areas. But now we are talking about grassroots marketing and you are there by yourself. And this thing that we are sharing with you today, we do as an establishment as well. And that's why I told you, if I'm saying this and this, that it's because I'm also been on the street. I don't, to know. I don't want I don't want to sit in the office and somebody come and give me a report. No, I want to go and experience it by myself. That's so good. I know that God, oh, these things are very, very important. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. That's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. God bless you, sir. Yes, ma'am. I boss said the Adeyemo, fam. I boss said the Adeyemo. Please feel free to unmute yourself. Good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, Ma. You're welcome. A large, 100%. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so much for this eye opening seminar. I'm really, really excited to be a part of this family. Thank you. Well, I believe that some of us that are outside Lagos will still need help about resource materials to train people around us here. 
That's one of the major challenges we are having. So if we can get write-ups for audio training materials that we can listen over and over so that it can also help us mm -hmm. as we bring people together, also groom and move them out into the market. Thank you. All the resource materials are already on our YouTube channel. Okay. Just go there and fetch it. If you're having a problem locating the right one you want, just call us on any of our numbers that you know, and somebody will send a link of the particular one you need to know. This training right. we did today, we've been doing it since February every Tuesday. So there are so yeah. many, today we are only talking about, you know, um, dominating your territory. Uh, so other days we've talked about the health benefits of products. So other days we've talked about this, how to, you know, um, open your dashboard, how to navigate your dashboard on the website, blah, blah, blah. So there are so many trainings. If you just take your time, go to Extra Large Farms TV on YouTube, you will get all the resources. And if you still need more help, Feel free to contact any of our client support numbers that you know, and somebody will be ready to, to assist you. All right. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Farmer Fako Reje Victoria. God bless you. Mama um, Bossa, which, which area are you? Which, where, where do you intend dominating? Mama um, Abosa, she out? Is she out? Okay, Fama Fakorede Victoria, please feel free to unmute yourself and ask your question. Hello, good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, everyone. That's right, large. 100%. Well done for the uh, presentation, ma. We really appreciate you. But my question, you, so you, are, you are say something about uh, 200, uh, 2,000, uh, 2,000 contacts or something like that. I could not, because I joined the Zoom meeting a bit late. I'm busy. I have a busy schedule. So I did not hear that one very well. So maybe you can just enlighten me more about that, your uh, explanation. Then other thing that I just want to put in is that, Ma, as you are recording this uh, meeting for us, please kindly send it to where we can able to sit and send it to most of our prospects for them to hear about extra large uh, discussion and to know what they too can do more in extra large, Ma. So I will appreciate if I can see that to send to some of my prospects. Thank you so much. Ma, do you Hello, do, is there YouTube, is there YouTube on your phone? Mama Fako Rede Victoria, is Hello, there YouTube on your phone? You are not hearing me. YouTube. Hello, Ma. I heard you. I'm asking you, is there okay. YouTube on your phone? YouTube. Yes, yes, exactly. Ma, I have. Yeah, so you're you're fine. Do you have Facebook on your phone? Yes, you're fine. This meeting yes, today is streaming on Facebook. Okay. And it's streaming okay. on Facebook. You can just go there, go back to Extra Large Farms on Facebook. You will see this meeting. Just share the link. Okay. Number two, it will be recorded on YouTube. Go and search, please, ma, and everybody listening. Okay. Go and search Extra Large Farms TV on YouTube. Extra large TV. Extra large TV. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And when you get there, like, like any of the videos and subscribe. When you subscribe, you will also see a notification bell by your right. Click okay. on it. The purpose is that every time we upload a video, you will get a notification. And those are the resources that you need to promote your business. Okay. We had a Zoom meeting on Sunday. It was uploaded on Monday morning. 
that one is there. This one we are doing this Tuesday now, we're going to upload it, if not by the end of today, first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. So it's there, plus so many other ones, they are there. You need a video about extra token, you need a video about agri-tech city, you need a video about health benefits of our food, you need testimonies from, from clients and customers, so many things, they are all there. Okay, ma, okay. Thank it's you, ma. There. We appreciate you. Thank you. God bless you. It's Thank you. Extra Large Farms TV on YouTube. Okay, okay. Okay, ma. Yeah. Farmer Rosemary Achikanu. Farmer Rosemary Achikanu. Good afternoon, ma, and everyone. Ma. God, God bless you so much for this very encouraging and exciting, very exciting uh, um, meeting that we have had today. I know that most all of us, I know, yes, have been propelled. We have seen that we have not even started in short. And by God's grace, I pray that the Lord will help us all, you know, to, to move it to another level. God bless you, ma. Extra large, 100%. 100%. <laughs> yes. Yes, ma. Um, I still want to, um, apart from other things that I'd like to, you know, kind of um, either ask or at least contribute, I want to also please stress on the availability that the first speaker spoke about, ma. The rest of us here, no. down, I don't know why we don't get most of the products. Uh, uh, where, we don't know whether it is seasonal. Ma? Where are you? I'm in Shimawa, but I buy from Ikeja. Okay. I go to Ikeja to buy. Okay. So, uh, you know, and most times when we have the orders, the products are not available. That's what we are faced. So um, I think okay. it will help us if we know whether these products are seasonal. And if they are seasonal, if we are able to know when maybe like a father rice has not been available for a long time, let us know, maybe on time, so that we also know how to plan ourselves. Like catfish, I had so many, we, all of us I know, even honey, all these products, many people need them. And let, me, not let me share good news with you. Honey is now available. Anybody Ooh. will be in Kenya tomorrow. Why? Wow. Mm. Number one. Praise God. Number two. Gold rice is now available. Anybody who wow. comes to Keja tomorrow or Ota will be able to buy. Yam flour wow. is now available. Anybody who comes to any of those services from tomorrow will buy. Wonder meal is now available. Anybody who comes will be able to buy. Dried locust beans and powdered locust beans. Please, Abel, let's just begin to put our hands up. Oh, praise <laughs> God. <laughs> Thank God. Praise God. Well yes. done. Thank God for that. And Ma. Yes, Ma. Please, Ma, remember catfish. We are happy. Honey is available. Wow, wow, wow. Thank God. A little bit more expensive than before. We don't know what is happening. We will get from the dashboard before the end of the All right. Okay. And another good news to all our party makers, all our events planners and all that, or you have a party, the smaller pack of extra large meal that we said before, the 500 grams is going to be launched live tomorrow at our Ikeja seminar. Wow. 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 That one goes for just 1,000 naira. And then the bigger one remains at the same price. Plus, we now have a large value pack. We know that we have the 5 kg, but some people, they can't afford 5 kg, and they don't want to be buying one, one kg, little, little. So we have another fantastic one, another new 3 kg value pack is coming wow. out tomorrow. 
Wow. Fantastic. 100%. 100%. Wow. Okay. Another good news. Wow. The smaller size of white radish juice. You know, we have radish juice and then we have the radish leaf juice. And the radish juice is 5,000 and the radish leaf juice is 2,005. Right now, from next week, by the special grace of God, not tomorrow, maybe next week, you will be able to have the smaller pack of radish juice for 2005 and then the leaf for 2005. So you can have a combo of everything for 5000 I'm going to be Good news, good news, good news, good news, good news, good news. Good news. Thank God. Congrats, Congrats, man. Please, ma. I can Sorry, ma. Another good news I'm going to share now. <laughs> I will have to still unmute everybody so that I can hear you exactly. Another good news I'm going to share now is that for all our Muslim lovers, uh, our Muslim brothers and sisters, as you are celebrating, um, what was this? Um, is, no, this is not Salah now. Salah is still coming later. Okay, this is Eid al-Fitri, okay. So as you are celebrating your Eid al-Fitri, as you are buying your food products and everything, ordering on your dashboard, you can also order MD and long for your products so that I can follow you to your house and come and show you how to cook the food. How many people are excited to hear that one? <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Hello, ma. Okay. Fama, what's that day? You want to say something? Yes, ma. Okay. Yes, ma. Yes, you were asking me. You were asking me which territory I want to dominate. Okay. And I said I want to I want to dominate Kwara State, starting with the Loring, because that's where I'm based. <laughs> Yes, we're already clapping for you. So, Kwara State, you need to work on you. Um, yeah, we're ready to support you. We have Governor. Uh, thank you. Olua Tommy Kapayat from Facebook is telling me that the salad break is Eid, Eid El Fitri. Thank you so much. Okay, so Kwara State, Ilori, we're ready to support you. And thank God we have a governor in that axis. Governor Richard Maff is a very selfless person. If he's helping you, he's just helping you for helping you state, not because he wants to collect something in return. So for my boss today, please feel free you know, to partner with him, to collaborate with him, share from his wealth of experience and basically about how he moves his products down to that area at um, a relatively cheaper cost. And feel free to let us know you know, all your plans and how you're doing well. And this is also a message for everybody. Anytime you have a sales event or something, you know, share, share with our, um, the client support officers, anyone that is managing your account. When you go for a program, when you go for a presentation, when you have a sales event somewhere, feel free to share all those things, share them on your social media platforms and tag us on share your, on your WhatsApp platform as well. So it's a, it's a way of letting us know that yes, you are really doing something and you are not keeping quiet. Plus, everyone that is ready to do all those things, let us know so that we can start um, 
you know, checking your records so we can start accessing you to be sure, oh, you didn't just go through the training for nothing. You are really putting, you know, efforts in what you're doing. So we can now begin to pump all our attention, focus all our attention on you. And I believe that we are all going, we will all get there by God's grace. Thank you so much. Um, let's call one more person that we need to close. We need to close. Fama Esther Olayinka Bamibola. Please omit yourself, ma. Okay, ma. That's not them and everyone in the class. I was just about to raise up my hands to you. <laughs> Uh, I just finished the lecture, that is why I joined the list. And uh, the list I met, I've been so inspired with the other seminars I've been attending. I want to also um, say that I'm in Kuala, Okay. And at the same time, and at the same time, uh, functioning in Nakumba, before from the street. On those states as well. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, ma'am. I already so let, let, me, let me let me advise all the people in all those far areas. Mm -hmm. it, it's just my own cobble advice. So major on um very unique products of extra large farms. All our products are unique. Yeah. But for example, there is no extra lad meal anywhere in the world. We are the only yeah. ones. We are the only ones producing it. So focus more on those type of products. Focus on um, radish, radish juice. Focus on what I'm trying to say is that things that are not so common in your area. Yeah. Yes, we are into further, we are into plantain flour, we are into this, we are into that. Ours is organic, ours is premium. Other people may not really understand that, but give them something new that they've not seen before. Then you now begin to introduce the other ones, you know, little by little. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say now. Yeah. So when you are buying your product, so that you can have enough money to meet up, you know, your demand and everything that you are doing. Focus on the very, very, you know, exclusive ones to extra large farms, and then you can grow your first product. Hello. Hello, ma. Yes, ma. We are listening to you. Okay, ma. So, uh, what are, I, I want to comment that. In fact, the little I met in the seminar, some of my friends have been amazed because they have also told us that um, we can easily attract people um, when they know they can diversify from living their financial expectations. So the network is bad around you there. We can hardly hear you. Let me take a quick look at the... Somebody is saying, how can I preserve the extra lad beans 5 kg? Okay, two ways. Where do you, where is your location? Where is your location? Two ways, you can put it in the freezer. Once you buy, because we don't, we didn't preserve it with any chemical preservative. So if you buy it like that, you can put it in your freezer. That's number one. You can put it in the freezer. Number two is that if you have so much and you're not going to eat it up within a short period of time, once in a while, maybe once in a week or so, just spread it in a tray and expose it to sunlight. Yes, so those are the two natural ways of keeping it for a long time.
Okay, somebody, thank you, Governor Obada. You helped us to post Governor Richard's number. Yeah, honey is available, gold rice is available, yam flour is available, the smaller pack of extra large meal for party and events will be available tomorrow. Three kg value pack of extra large meal will also be available. Um, there were so many good news we shared today. So, so, so many. I think we have one more person. Okay, Fama Ajayi Motura, you're going to be the last. Um, yours is going to be the last question for today. Please unmute yourself. Amajai Moturaya, please unmute yourself. Amajai Moturaya, are you there? Okay, as we round up, as we round up, if you think you enjoyed today's presentation or seminar about how to dominate your territory and all that, then you've not seen anything yet. Just make sure you don't miss that May 1st event, especially for those who are in Lagos. And for those who are not in Lagos, try to hook up on Zoom, though it can never be the same. I tell you, the excitement, the fun, you know, and everything. So um, let's start noising it around. May 1st is just by the corner in Lagos. A co-FM hall is directly opposite Coca-Cola Agidinde in the Keja. And thankfully, thank God for extra large farms, the admission is absolutely free. So if I were you, I'm going to invite up to 20. Because of course, you know, as you invite them and they hear the information first and it will also be a great benefit to you. So all teams, let's begin to put our people together and get ready for this um, very wonderful program coming up on the 1st of May. It's going to be mind blowing. And remember, we're going to have so many step out celebrated on that day. We are launching the Extra Life Holiday Club. It will blow your mind. It will blow your mind. You need to be there. 1st of May, it's a Monday, it's a public holiday, so you have no excuse. It's not a Saturday, so you can say, I'm going for one and bear or whatever. This one is a Monday, it's a public holiday, and they all can only take about 1,000 people. So make sure, you know, you are there. You cannot even send, um, you can send um, like a note for the seat reservation for you, and if you are sure of the number of friends are coming here, you can send that message to our farmer Sanusi, our brand manager in Ottawa on 0809-2093-344. So you can do that. And like we said, some people are going to be receiving calls from us. And I think part of those people, we have um, um, we have the Onike Yaba. And a Koka team under Governor Sawaru and Ambassador Duke Adorebu. We are working with you by the special grace of God, May and June. We have Lekki, Governor Adeloju Owosoya, and Governor Mrs. Lediowo. We are coming for you powerfully. Governor KJ Adjakaye, Katie Magodi Axis, by the special grace of God, May and June, we are coming for you. Um, Ambassador Elizabeth Ewumi, Bagada and Ifako area, we're coming for you by God's grace. May 13th, to be precise, is the, the opening of the extra large Magboro. Yeah, Magboro. Magboro is around the uh, Redeem area there. We're coming there by God's grace. It's going to be a wonderful time. And I want to encourage all super dealers, even if that place is far from you, try and come so you can witness how we do opening ceremonies and all that, okay? 
That's going to be on the 13th of May, live in Magbolo. We want to see everybody there. We are still going to call so many other people before the end of the month. And then we'll be telling you um, to get ready as we plan coming to your area. Thank you everybody for um, joining this evening, this afternoon. I have been blessed and I know you've been blessed as well. But please, let's not just hear all those things and not put it into practice. Go back. This video will be uploaded on YouTube by tomorrow morning latest. Go back and listen to it again. Take your pen and paper, jot things down and begin to work. We have talked about teamwork. We have talked about you need to employ people to work with you. You need, you need a proper understanding of those products so that you can be able to speak about them. Let, let it not be that you have an opportunity to make a presentation and you don't know what to say, or you don't know the product you're carrying, you don't know the health benefits, and so on and so forth. So let's start um, raising ourselves up for all these things. And the people who want to join the Super Deluxe Club, 50,000, 100,000, of course, 100,000 gives you more opportunity when you call on us, you have an event, you want us to bring products. If you have registered and you need give products of up to one million, we can bring it for you, you know. So super the last club for those who really want to take this business far, I advise you try and join. The number to call to um to do that. Um sorry. Seven eighty five. Kamalizi, sorry, please let me confirm this. So the number to call for that one is 090-9093-8485. You can call it and you can also send um, a WhatsApp message. Another number you can call that you are always, you know, I'm sure you're used to it now for all super dealers, 928 Seven six five six. Um, yeah. So some of the areas we mentioned we're working with. You keep sending yours. We keep, you know, drawing up our schedules and calendar, and we will get across to everybody. If you are here and you love everything you heard and you want us to partner, we want us to work with you. But you've not started anything on your own. I've said it at the beginning. You really need to start something. You know, we need to see how serious you are. We need to see the extent you can go to on your own before we start introducing other efforts. But feel free anytime to contact any of our clients or officers that you know, or any of our governors and ambassadors. They are all selfless people. Whether they are your direct upline or not, that is irrelevant. You need help about anything from extra large firms. Feel free to meet any of our leaders, feel free to call any of our clients or phone numbers and we will be ready to, you know, answer your questions, guide you and hold you by the hand till you get to your place called there. It's a privilege for me to be here this afternoon. Um, I, I really want to appreciate this special grace that God has given us all to be alive and well and to talk about business we do not take it for granted and i want to strongly believe that by the time we are meeting next week tuesday we'll be having a lot of testimonies already in the absence of any question can we ask god no In the absence of any question, can we ask um, Governor Adeloju Owosoya if he's here to just give us a closing remark?
Governor Adero Joe Sonia, sir, you can unmute yourself. I'm trying to see if yeah. good, good evening, right. ma. Thank you. Thank you so much, good sir. Thank evening, you. Good evening, great leaders. Good evening, all great super dealer out there. It's been an exciting moment. It's been powerful. It's been loaded with a lot of very useful and powerful information for us to improve on our businesses at all levels that we find ourselves. For a new starter, you have a good beginning because you can rely on, on the information you have been receiving over time, and especially the one you have today, to market out your product. To really see, because you are the CEO of that, uh, of that, uh, of as, as soon as you are a member, you are the CEO of the catchment area where you are operating. So you have very powerful tools today to really kick off and begin to make all the sales. And I'll tell you, the sales will come in thousands initially, then later it rolls into millions. And the millions will know no bound because we are looking at you making an average sales of about 50, 100 million per month or per week, if possible, that will translate into billions of naira in a short while. And you're able to pay all your operating expenses and also pay yourself a salary. It's been wonderful out there. We thank God for today. We thank God for his grace, for the grace he has given us today. It's a wonderful one, very, very wonderful moment for me personally, and I'm sure for everyone that is part of uh, this game, God will continuously strengthen us as a team. God will specially preserve the management and all the team leaders in Extra Large and all the upcoming uh, members that is aspiring for one thing or the other in Extra Large to make additional income to what they are doing or who are exclusively facing this uh, business. The way some of us are facing it, God Almighty will continue to enrich us give us that wisdom, make Amen. us make beautiful earning day in, day out, Amen. throughout the year, Amen. and throughout the years to come. Amen. And we shall Amen. be proud and happy and return all the glory back to him. To God be the glory. I want to thank every one of us for this participation. Especially, I want to thank uh, our MD for the presentation. I want to thank, uh, thank my GG Governor Obadjo for being a very, very wonderful and powerful host. And all the governors and leaders and team leaders and members that are there, you are awesome, you are wonderful. Thank you so much. It's been nice, as we used to say jokingly, it's been nice doing business with you all. Thank you so much. God bless you, ma. God bless you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. God bless you, we appreciate you, sir. Extra large, 100%, 2023 your territory. So we are going to say that three times as we close. Extra large. 100%. Let me ask all to mute. Everybody can unmute yourself now. Extra large. 100%. 100%. 100%. Thank you, Dominate your territory. Thank you.